Hakuna mwingine aliye kama wewe. Wewe ni mwema na mwaminifu hata sasa. Tumekuja diwani kwako maana tunakiu na tunajaa ya kuhulumiwa na wewe katika jina la Yesu. Asante kwa kila mpendo aliyefika. Naomba maana utamhudumia. Maana ni wewe tu uliye na neno ya kusaidia maisha yetu na kutuangazia katika jina la Yesu. Asante kwa neno lako Bwana. Tunaposhiriki Bwana, wacha nikafanye kazi katika maisha yetu kwa utukufu wa jina lako Bwana. Na ninyenyekeza kwa kwa Bwana unitumie sawa sawa na mapenzi yako. Kwa jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Nataka kuongea kuhusu neema ya Mungu kwetu. The grace of God to us. The grace of God to us. Neema ya Mungu kwetu. Maana sisi ni watu ambao tunajua tunaishi kwa neema. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We live by the grace of God. Na tunahitaji ku understand the impact of God's grace kwetu tuliyoamini kwetu tuliyookolewa ili tusije tukapoteza neema hii katika maisha yetu praise the name of the living god bwana yesu asifiwe maandiko yanasema na tuangalie mmoja wetu asije akapungukiwa na neema amen hata wakati huu wa kula tusipungukiwe na neema. Haleluya. Maana tukipungukiwa na neema tutalete uharibifu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So we need to understand the grace of God and to live connecting ourselves daily to the grace of God. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tuanze na neno katika kitabu cha Waefeso mbili mstari wa nane na mstari wa tisa Waefeso mbili Mstari wa nane na mstari wa tisa. Tumeokolewa kwa neema kwa njia ya imani ambayo hiyo haikutokana na nafsi zetu. Ni kipawa cha Mungu. Basi Wala si kwa matendo mtu wa yote asije akajisifu praise the name of the living god we are the product of god's grace amen bwana yesu asifiwe leo kiasi ndani mwambie you are the product of god's grace hey so what the name is going to be tell your neighbor you are the product of god's grace bwana yesu asifiwe Bakana. Kwa kuwa alitangulia kutu 
tuchagua ili tufanye wanawe kwa njia ya Yesu Kristo sawa sawa na uradhi wa mapenzi yake na usifiwe utukufu wa neema yake ambayo ametuneemisha katika huyo mpendwa katika yeye huyo kwa damu yake tunao mpokozi wetu msamaa wa dhambi sawa sawa na wingi wa neema yake naye alituzidishia hiyo katika hekima yote na uchuzi praise the name of the living god maana nasema Mungu alitutagua kwa mradi wa mapenzi yake kwa kutaka kwake mwenyewe amen kwa furaha yake mwenyewe akakuchagua akanichagua akanilete na katika neema yake akaniokoa praise the name of the living god na maana nasema katika hiyo neema anatuneemisha haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe anatuneemisha kuweza kuishi na kukaa katika maisha inayostahili praise the name of the living god bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe na maana nasema katika yeye huyo tumepata
na alifika kwa maisha yake. Maana sana tuangalie ukiangalia sana mtu asikumbukiwe na neema ya Mungu. Mwanje kwa neema inaweza kukua. Halo? Hey, neema inaweza kufanya nini? Neema inaweza kukua. Na neema ikipungua, adui anapata opportunity. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naomba neema ya Mungu isitupungukie. Ah, naomba neema ya Mungu isitupungukie. Katika ndoa zetu neema ya Mungu ijaye. Katika wewe jamii zetu neema ya Mungu ijaye. Katika mji neema ya Mungu itutoshe. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mtu asipungukiwe na neema ya Mungu. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Labda tusome neno lingine alafu nikueleze mambo kadhaa. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 8 to 9. The grace of God upon us or to us. God is the God of grace. And that grace ndio inafanya maisha yetu iwe tofauti. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yeah, hiyo ndio neema inatuwezesha. Na ndio Paulo anasema tumeokolewa kwa hiyo neema na tumeenemishwa. Amen. Kwa hizo neema katika Bwana. Praise the name of the living God. Nasema nini? Usome. Basi usiwone haya ushuhuda wa Bwana wetu. Wala usinione haya mimi mfungwa wake. Bali uvumilie mabaya pamoja na kwa ajili ya injili, kwa kadri ya nguvu ya Mungu. Amen. Ambaye alituokoa akatuita kwa mwito mtakatifu si kwa kadri ya matendo yetu sisi bali kwa kadri ya makusudi yake yeye na neema yake neema hiyo tulipewa katika Kristo Yesu tangu milele amen bwana Yesu asifiwe Paulo anamwambia Timotheo usiaibike kwa sababu ya nchi Usiaibike kwa sababu ya watumishi wa Mungu. Haleluya. Anaambia bali kumilia taabu. Amen. Kumilia shida ukiwezeshwa na nguvu za Mungu zinazoletwa na neema. Amen. Ndio tuombo. Praise the name of the living God. Paulo ameongea mambo ya neema sana. Maana Mungu alimjalia ufunguo ya kujua ya kwamba tumeokolewa kwa neema na tuko majira ya Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Dispensation Yesu alipokuja alibadilisha dispensation. Dispensation ni majira. Yesu alikuja akabadilisha majira. Majira ya nyuma kabla Yesu ilikuwa ni majira ya torati na sheria. Amen. Lakini Yesu alipokuja akaleta kitu kinaitwa the grace. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ndio Paulo anasema neema hiyo tulipewa katika Kristo Yesu tangu milele. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Angalia jirani mwambie chunga neema ya Mungu katika maisha yako. Hey, mwambie vizuri mwambie chunga neema ya Mungu. Praise the name of the living God. Protect the grace of God. Hallelujah. Learn to depend on the grace of God. Learn to walk under the grace of God katika maisha yako. Praise the name of the living God. Maana we are in the dispensation of God's grace. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka uandike hii. Grace is God's light transforming gift. Grace is God's light transforming gift of his favor to those who do not deserve. Grace is God's life transforming gift of his favor to those who do not deserve neema ni uzima wa Mungu neema it is is God's life transforming gift ni kipawa cha uzima kinachobadilisha kutokana na kibali ya Mungu wa wale wasio stahili. Amen. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Neema ni kipawa cha uzima cha Mungu kinachobadilisha kutokana na kibali. Amen. Cha Mungu wa wale wasio stahili. Praise the name of the living God. We want not to want. Hatukustahili, hatukufaa. Praise the name of the living God. Wewe kwa hai leo haukustahili. It is the grace of God. Wewe kwa na kile ulicho nacho leo si kwa sababu ulistahili sana. It is the grace of God. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ili tubadilishiwe maisha yetu. Amen. Hii neema ya Mungu kusudi yake ni kubadilisha maisha yetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hey, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na tunahitaji kuja wakati to remain connected to the grace of God kila siku ya maisha yetu. Praise the name of the living God. Number two, the grace of God is the divine ability. The grace of God is the divine ability that enables us to live a life that pleases God. Grace is the divine ability that enables us to live a life that pleases God. Neema ni uwezo wa kiungu unao kuwezesha kuishi maisha inayopendeza Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa damu na nyama ni vigumu kupendeza Mungu. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa akili yako mwenyewe ni vigumu kupendeza Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. But when you are under the grace, haleluya. When you are walking under the grace, you are able to live a life that pleases God. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hey, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You are able to live a life that pleases God. Shindwa, maana tunategemea nguvu zetu, tunategemea akili zetu, tunategemea uwezo wetu, tunajikuta wakati mwingi tunavunjika moyo kuishi maisha yanayopendeza Bwana. Amen. Nimekuja nikuambie tupende on the grace of God. Haleluya. Tegemea neema ya Mungu, jiunganishe na neema ya Mungu na utaishi hiyo maisha inayopendeza Mungu. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is a divine appeal. Hello? That they never last to live a life that pleases God. Katika petro manika kasema wale watu wadunia wakati mina wana kushanga. Kwa sababu hawa amini ya kwamba hile maisha tunasema tunaishi nyo tunaishi. Wana Yesu wa sifiwe. Hey, wana Yesu wa sifiwe. Hawa amini kwa sababu wanajua manadawu ni mudai na hawezi ishi yo maisha. Kwa kwa hile grace of God tunaishi. By the grace of God tunafanya mambo yanayopendeza Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is a divine ability. Hata saa hii katika nchi hii, it's just the grace of God. Divine ability. Habari na tusaidie. Praise the name of the Lord. If you are not God, you can do anything. You can do anything. Sasa <coughs> mnangu na mtu anaua na mtu anafanya vitu mpaka unamuuliza anasema nini? Kwa sababu neema inafanya nini? Imeondoka. Praise the name of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Wacha tuangalie scenario moja ninapoelezea mambo ya neema. John 8 verse 1 to 11. Hapa kuna mwanamke alishikwa kwa usharati ama kwa uzinzi, akaletwa kwa Yesu. Na wale walikuja na sheria wakakuja kwa Yesu aje na neema. Haleluya. Waja tuanga bila neema inaleta utofauti. Walikwenda kila mtu nyumbani kwake. Na Yesu akaenda mpaka mlima wa Mzeituni, Mzeituni. Hata asubuhi kulipokucha, akaingia tena hekaluni. Na watu wote wakamwendea. Naye akaketi, akawa akiwafundisha. Waandishi na mafarisayo wakamletea mwanamke aliyefumaniwa katika uzinzi wakamweka katikati wakamwambia mwalimu mwanamke huyu amefumaniwa alipokuwa akizini basi katika Torah Musa alituamuru kuwapiga kwa mawe wanawake namna hii nawe wasemaje nao wakasema neno hilo wakimjaribu 
ili wapate sababu ya kumshtaki lakini Yesu akainama akaandika kwa kidole chake katika nchi nao walipozidi kumhoji alijiinua akawaambia yeye asiye na dhambi miongoni mwenu na awe wa kwanza kumtumia jiwe akainama tena akaandika kwa kidole chake katika nchi nao waliposikia wakashtakiwa na dhamira zao nini liwastaki nini liwastaki hakuna mtu alisema wewe ni mtu kiba dhamira zao ziliwastaki maana Yesu alisema kama hauna makosa kama wewe haujafungukiwa bila kosa watusonde huko maana Yesu asiwe wakajisikiza hivi dhamira ikawaambia na sijana ulikonga mtu na sijusi ni hivi baba kila mtu na dhamira yake mtu aambie mwingine nini kinaendelea kila mtu anaotoka bila dhamira inaongea maana kila sema nini waliposikia wakashtakiwa na dhamira zao kumbe dhamira itaweza kukustaki ngalie jana nikwambie chunga dhamira anaweza siwe dhamira inaweza kufanya nini kukustaki na Mungu ameweka ndani yetu dhamira alo ni shida inafuata ni kwamba huwa tunaua dhamira maana ukikataa kusikiza dhamira siku nyingi inakufa bwana Yesu asifiwe dhamira ni ya kukusaidia ni unasikia mtu anasema akisikia basi ni yake anasema na kuna kimili taka kupanda lakini kitu kingine ikaniambia si kitu kingine ni dhamira ni dhamira yako praise the name of the living god maana Mungu anataka maisha yako yende kwa njia leo stahili lakini kwa ajili watu wengi hatusikizi nini dhamira so watu hawa Yesu akawaambia kama kuna mtu ana dhambi na hao wanapata kurusha mara dhamira ikawastaki alafu wakatoka mmoja mmoja wakianzia tangu wazee vijana ndio walibaki maana wanajaza tangu wazee hata wa mwisho wa akabaki Yesu peke yake na yule mwanamke amesimama katikati Yesu akajiinua asinuone mtu bila yule mwanamke akamwambia mwanamke wako wapi wale washtaki wako je hakuna aliyekuhukumu kuwa na hatia na walikuleta kwa sababu mzee lakini hakuna mmoja aliyekuhukumu amen praise the lord the lord akawaambia akamwambia hakuna bwana yesu akamwambia wala mimi sikuhukumu enenda zako wala usitende dhambi the power of grace the power of grace praise the lord the lord the
I love the grace of God. Praise the name of the living God. Hey, praise the name of the living God. What the fun of Faida Kada in our letter on the name of Mungu? Faida and the name of Mungu Quetu. Faida and the name of Mungu. Number one, the grace gives another opportunity. The grace gives another opportunity. Neema upeana na fasi nyingine. Kwa watu. When you walk under the grace, every day there shall be another opportunity for you. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Huyu mama kama ni sheria, hangekuwa na nafasi nyingine. Angeuawa, angebalizwa, lakini neema ikampea nafasi nyingine. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hey, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That's why we are thinking that as God to tell us that we are Christians. Ama tutenangi that. Ama tutenangi that. Tunatengi. Mwandisi wa kitabu cha Yohana waraka wa pili. Mlango wa pili. Eh. Na wanikia haya. Ili kwamba. Mustende dhani. Ali adika ini tusubaja nini? Kusuki kumbwa ya kuandika iyo barua. Nili. So, Johanna and Seba, if you want to give me a message, that you should not miss the mark. Amen. Alafu? Is that right? Nakama. Nakama, you are the king of the world. You are the king of the world. Yes, Jesus Christ. You are the king of the world. Basu? Neema inapeana uhuru 
ama kuwepo huru kutoka kwa Mungu za dhambi kama kuna kitu inatawala dunia ni Mungu za dhambi amen bwana yesu asifiwe the whole world is under the captivity of the power of sin the whole world bwana yesu asifiwe wale watafoka kwa nira ya dhambi ni wale wameunganika na neema ya Mungu amen bwana yesu asifiwe it's only the grace that gives us freedom from the power of sin. Hallelujah. Kuna mambo mengi unaweza jaribu kuacha ushindwe, but ukiconnect na neema ya Mungu, amen. Unawacha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It gives freedom from the power of sin. Biblia inasema tusitawaliwe na dhambi. But it's only by the grace. Kama hautatawaliwa na dhambi, it's only by the grace ndio inavunja hiyo mila ya damu katika maisha yako. Praise the name of the living God. Number Number four. Grace gives true life. Grace gives true life. Neema inapewa mtu uzima wa kweli. True life. True life is not in having a lot of money. True life is not having a lot of education. True life is only in the grace of God. Amen. Na ndio yule mama msamaria alipokutana na Yesu. Ah, akasema, nimemwona mtu. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Furai karudi kwa mama msamaria. Amani karudi kwa mama msamaria. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu alimwambia, "Hiki zima, maji yale unakunywa, utaona kiute." Amen. Lakini ukikunywa yale maji yanatokana na mimi neema. Haleluya. Utakuwa na uzima. True life is only by the grace of God. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hey Bwana asifiwe. Number 5. Grace brings God's blessings to our lives. Neema unaleta baraka za Mungu katika maisha yetu. Baraka za Mungu zinaletwa na neema zake. It is the grace of God inafanya tuwe na afya. It is the grace of God inafanya tufaulu na tufanikiwe kwa maisha yetu. Haleluya. Grace brings blessings of God in our lives. Tukikaa kwa neema ya Mungu tunabarikiwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But as a spirit, Christ is not just an empty thing. He may jump with a jib. Hallelujah. But as a spirit. So what are you going to connect? Now when you see the name of the Lord, you will enjoy the blessings. You will see the blessings. Katika mashaya. Praise the name of the living God. But as a spirit. Hey, but as a spirit. Number six. Christ. Us a right standing before God. Grace gives us a right standing before God. Neema inatupea nafasi ya kusimama mbele za Mungu. That right standing unakubalika, unakuwa mtu ambao unastahili wakati unakuwa na neema ya Mungu, unakuwa na ile kibali mbele za Bwana. Amen. Ya kusimama mbele za Mungu. That right standing with God. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hey, Bwana asifiwe. Number 7. Grace gives releases divine ability in our lives. Grace releases divine abilities in our lives. Divine abilities. Neema inaachilia uweza wa kiungu katika maisha yetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na Yohana anasema sisi ni mawakili wa neema mbalimbali za Mungu. Amen. Hello, we are stewards of different kinds of graces of God. Praise the name of the living God. Grace in at least divine ability katika maisha yetu. Maybe we can read something in Titus. Titus chapter number 2 verse 11. Titus 2 verse 11. Uwezo wa kiungu unakuwa katika ndani ya maisha yako 
Uwezo wa kiungo si ile watu wote wanaoambia wanaanga chini. Hapana. Ni uwezo unaokusaidia kuishi a godly life. Amen. Hello? Uwezo unaokusaidia kufanya mambo ya Mungu. Maana mambo ya Mungu si rahisi. Mambo ya Mungu si? Eh, hey, mambo ya Mungu si? Rahisi. Sasa kama kuambiwa kujenga safina, kuna kitu ni rahisi. Mwali. Kujenga safina ni rahisi. Na si safina ya kubeba watu wawili. Watu wote wao walikuwa si hiyo. Hapo na jenga ikuwa ikuwa ya miaka peke yake. Alikuwa na jenga ya kubeba watu wote wao walikuwa si hiyo. Sasa kama watu wa Jongo Kenya ni watu wote milioni. Ni about 50 million. Imagine ukijenga safina ya kubeba watu 50 million. If you don't have the best of God, you cannot do such things. What is the spirit? What is the spirit? What is the spirit? Imagine the mutu anaitua Samson. Anatumia mfupa. Inaitua nini? Jongo. What is the spirit? Jongo. Inaitua nini? Jongo. Yeah. Fizz. 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 Yeah. In the Jongo. Jogo anatumia anagoma wanaume elfu moja akiwa yote na jogo that is a divine ability that is a spirit that is a divine ability haiweze kani na mwanadamu that is a spirit na kuna mambo mengi Mungu anataka tuweze kufanya kwa maisha yetu it's only by divine ability haleluya haiweze kani na mtu na nyama praise the name of the living god haiweze kani na damu Father is the spirit. That's why you need the grace of God every day of your life. So that you have that divine ability to do things that God needs from you. Amen. Father is the spirit. Thank you for your time. You are a boy. 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 Nayo ya kufundisha kukataa ubaya na tamaa za kidunia tupate kuishi kwa kiasi na haki na utaua katika ulimwengu huu wa sasa wastatin tukitazamia tumaini la jamaraki na mafunguo ya utukufu wa Kristo Yesu Mungu mkuu na mokozi wetu. Amen. That is the divine ability. Hallelujah. Ni dunia ina mambo mengi ya kutumaliza. Usipopata neema. Nashindi. Praise the Lord of the Lord. Bwana Yesu. Na maandiko yanasema tuangalie mtu asifungukiwe na nini? Neema. Tuangalie mtu asifungukiwe na nini? Neema. Na neema. Hata kanisa ni kiona watu wanarudi nyuma. Shida si ati. Ni neema ifanye nini? Nokuki, man hawa jentua kuta this grace every day of their life. Praise the name of the Lord. Hey, kiona watu na acha uduma, shida si ni ni na yeme nokuki. Hello, hello. Ukiona mtu alikuwa na chesa hapa na imba pasa na kaka ukoju. It's just the grace. Kali kila kwa na kama ni. Wanaenda sse, wanaenda sse. Ni nema tulivyokuja. Ukiona mtu alikuwa anakuja kanisa kuulizwa ameacha. It's just the grace. Huyo mtu amekuukiwa na nema. Ukiona mtu alikuwa anatoa sadaka ameacha kutoa. Ni nema tu imekuja. Si nimekuja kuwakumbusha. Usipumbukiwe na nema. Halo? Angalia sana usipumbukiwe na nini? Maana mwisho wa kupumbukiwa kuna ubaya utamea ndani yako. Praise the name of the living God. Hey, praise the name of the living God. Wale wamepumbukiwa ni nawaombea neema ya Mungu iwarudie katika jina la Yesu. Ili kurejelee kwa nafasi zile bwana anawahitaji. Amen. The grace. The grace. Okay, ndio tutaja mambo how to enjoy the impact of the grace. How to enjoy the impact of the grace. Jinsi ya kufurahia matokeo ya imani ya neema katika maisha yako. How to enjoy the impact of the grace? Maana hii grace Mungu anataka ufurahie. The impact inayoleta kwa maisha yetu. Haleluya. Maana neema inatakana ileta impact, inatakana ileta utofauti katika maisha
Kisha yetu. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hey, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yeah, and you need to enjoy. Sometimes nakaga you naona kweli na hema yangu. Una furai. Bwana hema yangu. Njua maisha yako. Hello. Hello. Nakai you naona kweli na hema yangu ni ajabu. Praise the name of the Lord. Number 1. How to enjoy the impact of the grace? Number one, live by faith. Live by faith. If you want to enjoy the impact of God's grace in your life, live by faith. Hallelujah. Number three, learn to approach the throne of grace. 
Learn to approach the throne of grace. Jifuze kusongea kiti cha neema. The throne of grace. Kuna kiti cha neema leo kinafanya kazi. Amen. Na hicho kiti kinakugotea kila siku usongee ili neema ya Mungu idirike katika maisha yako. Hebu tusome hiyo katika kitabu cha Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Hebrews 4:16 Learn to approach the throne of grace. Kuna throne of judgment lakini leo kuna throne of grace. Hello? Bana zikiwe kama hujakufa kuna throne of grace. Tusome? Basi na tukikaribia kiti cha neema kwa ujasiri ili tupewe Rema na kupata neema ya kutusaidia wakati wa mahitaji. Amen. Learn to approach the seat of grace. Hallelujah. Kila siku asubuhi enda pale kwa kiti cha neema ili upate neema. Hallelujah. Ya kukusaidia wakati wa mahitaji. Bwana Yesu. Amen. Kuna sehemu nyingi za maisha yako unahitaji neema. Kuna sehemu Kwa kazi yako unahitaji neema. Kwa kulea watoto unahitaji neema. Kwa kukaa na watu unahitaji neema. Kwa kuishi maisha ya kupendeza bado unahitaji neema. Learn to approach the throne of grace. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ili mpate nini? Kwa hiyo ukitaka kwa kwa the throne neema ni huko unahitaji neema nini? ikipungua 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 baadaye ukikuta pale uba bwana mzee mzee namba namba 4 humble yourself always jinyeteze kila wakati humble yourself if you want to enjoy the impact of God's grace humble yourself it doesn't matter who you are hello haijaishi wewe ndio Learn to humble yourself. Hata kama wewe ni osongo wa mji, learn to humble yourself. It will help you to enjoy the grace of God. Praise the name of the living God. Hey, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Can you read this from the book of 1 Peter chapter number 5, verse 5 and 6? Learn to humble yourself. Watu wengine tunapaswa kuona impact of the grace because kuna kiburi mingi na kiburi kile ni kiburi kidogo tu na kusumbua. Ni kwa sababu kuna elfu kumi. Elfu kumi na kuangaisha unaongea mbaya. Unakosea watu wengine maana na ni kiburi kumi. Na ungekuwa milioni. Si unge hapa Kenya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa hivi tunakuwa na kiburi na kiburi na kusumbua kuendelea the grace. Hata ukiwa mtu anaanza kuingia kwa kanisa tu na Mungu na kiburi inaingia. Baadaye mambo inaanza kuwa magumu hapa na pale mashida inaingia. Baada sasa hiyo ndio kamu. Nao sasa ile grace ni mara ya kwanza hapa. I don't allow it. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hey Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu tusome. Tusome. Video video. Ninyi mita. Watini wazee. Na Nyinyi nyote jifungeni unyenyekeo mpate kuhudumiana kwa sababu Mungu eh lakini uwepo eh si pesa eh hello anapeana nini wacha kiburi kataa kiburi wacha siwe na unajua kiburi ni nacho. Kiburi ni nini? Inakuja kwa ujua. Ni watu kwa tusema na ana kiburi. Wao wao. Anasema mahali uko na kiburi. Wao. Wao na ni kama uko hapo. Bana kiburi ni nacho. It's just nacho. So lazima kila wakati unajinda loketi. Ili ujifunze kwa ujinde. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
Hey, wana sikio? Mungu wapinga. Wenye kiburi. It doesn't matter who you are. Hata kama ni pastor. Niaza kuwa na kiburi. God is system. Na anaanza kuku ile neema uko na enjoy inaanza kuondoka. Maana Mungu anapinga. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ikiwa ni huduma, ukianza kuwa na kiburi, Mungu anakupinga. Ikiwa wewe ni mwanabiashara, ukianza kuwa na kiburi, Mungu anakupinga. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna mtu alipingwa na Mungu anaitwa Nebukadnezar. Nebukadnezar alikuwa na kiburi. Alipanda kwa nyumba ya gorofa. Gorofa ijaza kujengwa leo. Alikuwa amejenga nyumba yake kasri yake. Akapanda kule juu akauliza nani kama Nebukadnezar? Nani kama? Fahari zote za dunia ni sawa. Bwana alikuwa alikuwa ana tunaita super. The super what? Super power. Amen. Alikuwa kama America. He was a super power. Anasema watu wote wa chini yangu who is like Nebukadnezar? Daniel akapewa ndoto, akaoneshwa miti imekata. <laughs> Akakuja akamwambia, "Hebu kanisa, kuna miti nikiona kubwa, ilikuwa na matunda na ndege wengi, lakini ikafanya nini?" Akaambia ni wewe, "Usipojenyekea." Utakata. Akapewa 12 of man ya kunyenyekea, akakataa. After 12 months, Mungu akamondolea akili zake akawa kama mjamu. 7 years akaenda kule porini. Baka sikina hivyo mwa kwa kama na manama kwa ina kwa hivyo. Kwa 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 Mungu anajua kushusha watu. Anajua kupinga watu. Amen. Atakupinga, atakupinga, atupige mpaka uende chini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So come on back and join the impact of the grace. Learn to have. Kwa mwenyekevu. Katika maisha yako. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kuna watu wa wingi walienda kuomba kwa hekalu. Na Nikuwa mfarisayo na mtosha ushuru. Na mfarisayo ni mba na kibune. Mfarisayo ni mba na kibune. Ni mtu wa dini. Na hameenda kwa madhaba uko. Na fika pala ya kusama na mbawa na kushukuru mungu. Na meanza kusumi sana. Na kushukuru. Haka ongeza ya pili. Mimi si kama watu wengi. Na kushukuru mungu. Kwa maani. Mimi si kama watu wengi wa asherati, uwezi, hata kama uyu mtosha ushuru. Ninafunga maramili kwa juma. Ninatoa zaka. Madika jasema ule mungine nae kuwa kwa kwa na pale ana nilala ana naki kwa kamiye juma. Ana jama mungu ni urumie. Ni urumie, mimi ni mwene? Madika jasema uyo alitoka akiwa mipata haki kuliko ule wakwazi. Maana Mungu wapiga wenye kiburi yes. lakini wapa neema wenye kiburi. Na mtu hapo yuo sasa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna watu wengi kama ishe kipanda hawaizi kale kete ya plastic. Yes. Nani anakuambia? Hapo yuo sasa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa ni tu hapo sasa. Hiyo ukubwa ni mkubwa amekupea. Hello, hiyo time ni mkubwa amekupea. Yes. Anytime. Inaweza kosa pale. Praise the Lord. Number. Number. Don't boast of on your efforts or anything else. Don't boast on your efforts or anything else. Usijigambe kwa sababu ya bidii yako wala chochote kile. Usijigambe. Usijigambe. Don't boast. Don't boast. Kama una akili kuliko watu wengine. Don't boast. Na kama umesoma kuliko watu wengine. Mungu anasafaje unajigamba naye kuwa useless. Ikose kukusaidia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maana nikasema ili uenjoy the grace of God. Don't boast. Leo asubuhi kuna 
nenda nilikuwa na daftari nilikuwa nimekosa lakini niliupata katika kitabu cha Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 God goes and he says to us to fune kwa sababu ya ndugu zake mtu asijifune kwa sababu ya hekima yake wala pesa zake amen hata kibao usijifune watu wengi una preach kuliko watu
Vanessa Spirit. To solve it, I'm going to show you 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. Trust in Jesus, trust in God. We need to enjoy this grace of God. It is available. Amen. It is available. Who is Paul? Aliyoba mungu maratatu kwa sababu ya hali fulani ili yokuwa inasumbua maisha yake lakini mungu jibu lake lilikuwa hili Tusome hili Naya akaniambia neema yangu Nataka niwambia neema ya mungu inatosha Neema ya mungu inatosha Hata sasa neema inatosha Bana Yesu asuwe Siti sumbue Neema ya mungu inatosha he went to God. Mumba kawambia neema yangu imetosha. Simama kwa mungu yako. Mwambia mungu nisaibi. Nisibukukiwe na neema yako. Mwambia mungu nisaibi. Niunganike na neema yako kila siku ya mashe yangu. Mwana neema yako inatosha. Neema yako inatosha. Hindu wa sauti yako. Hindu wa maupi yako kwa wana kwa sababu ya neema. Mijana wa naitaji neema. Wabana wa naitaji neema. Wase wa naitaji neema.